of awareness by Neville Goddard chapter 11 interference you are free to choose the concept you will accept of yourself therefore you possess the power of intervention the power which enables you to alter the course of your future the process of rising from your present concept to a higher concept of yourself is a means of all true progress the higher concept is waiting for you to incarnate it in the world of experience now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us unto him we glory him that is able to do more than you can ask or think is your imagination and the power that worketh in us is your attention understanding imagination to be him that is able to do all that you ask attention to be the power by which you create your world you can now build your ideal world Imagine yourself to be the ideal you dream of and desire. Remain attentive to this imagined state, and as fast as you completely feel that you are already this ideal, it will manifest itself as reality in your world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. The mystery hid from the ages Christ in you, the hope of glory. The he in the first of these quotations is your imagination. As previously explained, there is only one substance. This substance is consciousness. It is your imagination which forms the substance into concepts, which concepts are then manifested as conditions, circumstances, and physical objects. Thus, imagination made your world. The supreme truth, with but few exceptions, man is not co conscious of. The mystery Christ in you, referred to in the second quotation, is your imagination, by which your world is molded. The hope of glory is your awareness of the ability to rise perpetually to higher levels. Christ is not to be found in history nor in external forms. You find Christ only when you become aware of the fact that your imagination is the only redemptive power. When this is discovered, the towers of dogma will be will have heard the trumpets of truth and like the walls of Jericho crumble to dust.